NT Yak laser works and why is it important for darker skin tones? NT Yak is super. Now the science behind this is that it, when the laser is emitted onto your skin, it's bypassing your skin colour and its main target is that hair, which then destroys the follicle, the bulb of the hair, which then prevents the hair from growing. What would be the outcome if you do not have ND Yag laser, if you have a darker skin type? Actually, what could happen what could be pigmentation. So this could be hyper or hypo, hypo being the darkening of the skin and hypo being the lightening of the skin. That could also lead to crusting, blistering or burning of the skin. Now, if you pick that, it could actually turn into an infection or permanent scar damage. So it's really important to check if you are of a darker skin type, not so much what the name or the brand of the laser is, of course medical grade laser, class 4 lasers like Sinusure or Candela are still top priority. If I was to choose a clinic where I'd be going to have my treatments, it would be that. But specifically for darker skin types, you really want to ensure they have the ND Yag laser, which is the wavelength that they'll be treating on your skin tone. If you're unsure, always opt for a patch test or for your appointments. Double check who's doing your procedures because again, it's not just the laser and the name of the brand of the laser, it's also who's treating you. Have they treated darker skin types before? What type of settings are they using? Are they just following a one man band? This is the laser protocol that they have to use. That's really gonna affect your results as well. So doing your research, checking what practitioner is going to be treating you. Is that clinic a clinic that is a registered clinic who has a special treatment license to treat you? And also first and foremost, check the wavelength that they'll be using on your skin.